Okay, just wanted to uh, make this video as posting awareness for uh, people who may uh, or may not be aware um, who are all other tar you know, targeted individuals as far as the spy equipment that they put in your uh, living quarters. Now, if you go looking around and you don't find anything like obvious, um, from what I've actually realized, um, there is spy equipment, but you need to find the locations of uh, unusual radiational frequencies, right? And um, what they're using with this are actually uh, electronical bugs. I mean, I do mean electronical insects, no joke. I found one uh, in my, uh, my uh, right next to my blinds, and uh, as soon as I flushed it down the toilet, the gang stalkers who were out here went ballistic. And it wasn't until then that actually a whole bunch of, um, you know, activity started to happen. So I'm just going to show you an example of uh, what they say. In my case, it was a ladybug. So, um, yeah. And the whole point is that they are using stuff that you would not even suspect to even be any type of camera, any type of listening device of any kind. Now the funny thing about this is my windows in my unit, they're both sealed. Both of them, like from both sides, they're both sealed. There's no way to open these windows at all, and I'm at the very highest level, one of the very highest levels of this complex. So, for something like that to get in here like that is kind of uh, bizarre, because um, these windows never open. These windows definitely never open. I'm willing to bet that I got more than just the one in here, but I'm just grateful to find to actually be able to find out exactly what they were using as far as uh, spying. So, um, as you can see, the uh, uh, and again, I, I'm not taking any credit for this uh, for this article. It belongs to the people who uh, you know created it, the people who researched it. All credit all credit goes to them as far as things are concerned. Um, now, what you're not going to uh, realize is that uh, not all these things are going to look like that obvious. Some of these things actually do uh, try to blend in even way more than this. And they may give off the appearance of being alive. But um, you'll find these things in very uh, unusual places. You'll find them in very unusual spots. Um, in my case, like I found one that just so happens to be in the like up towards the blinds area where it has a, a clear view of the entire square footing of my um of one of the side rooms. It had, it was literally parked right there out of all the places. It wasn't nowhere near my plants. And if in case you're wondering, I'm pretty sure people mostly know bugs are usually attracted to plants. The plants I got in here are aloe vera, but it was nowhere near the plants. This thing was nowhere near them, so it was like, uh, like way, way, way far away from them. Um, so again, like if you find bugs in your apartment and they're like in unusual spots, when I mean by bugs, I mean actual like uh, insects capable of flight, not crawling, but capable of flight. They use ones that are like that um, in order to actually spy on you. It may give off the appearance of a bug, of an actual insect. But it's meant for deceiving purposes. They don't want you knowing that what they're using to spy on you, and it gives it basically gives you off a uh, a false sense of awareness. I'm willing to bet I got more than just the one in, in that I found, but um, and I don't doubt that there probably be another one hidden around here somewhere as well because I've detected at least several spots. But I, it's like um, whenever I looked, I couldn't technically find where or what these things you know where these things were i just had no idea but now that i actually caught one of them and seen it for myself um i didn't leave it in here i probably shouldn't have flushed it but uh 
yeah. A anyway, if the mind stinks has told me to get it, like, you know, get it the heck out of here just to see what the reaction would be. And it's just as I thought, it's actual uh, surveillance equipment that they use. So the way that they, the way they're coverting this is that they're using, um, they're using electronical insects uh, to put in these in your homes. And uh, they won't even give off the, uh, the, the appearance of them being spies unless you find them in a, you know, a unique area. And um, I've seen, I've, I've detected many different radio frequencies in these areas where I found the first one. So with that being one of them, I'm betting that there's definitely more than just the one. Okay, true. Insects spy drones have been developed by the U.S. military in a number of universities for years, but the extent of the technology functionality is unknown. In 2008, the Air Force Research Laboratory set its sights on developing a tiny armed drone that could be used by U.S. Special Forces to track, terminate high-value targets. Wired.com reports uh, is where you would find the rest of it. At the goal of the project, dubbed Project Anubis, was described in the Air Force's 2008 budget as the development of a small unmanned aerial vehicle UAV that carries sensors, data links, and munitions payloads to engage time sensitive fleeting. So if you're wondering how like sometimes they're like still able to track you and stuff like that with these uh, direct energy weapons, they're probably also using this to track your location without a doubt because I've seen videos of other targeted individuals have drones following them as far as like the, uh, you know, the birds the birds, uh, I've seen one of them in someone's video to where like it, it, it uh, gave off the appearance and the flight patterns of a hummingbird, but it was too large to be a hummingbird. Hummingbirds are like way smaller. And this thing was about the, just about the size of your average uh, day uh, uh, pigeon, your average day um, seagull, something, something like around that size. And there's no way a hummingbird gets that big. Okay, the fate of the Project Anubis is unknown, but similar micro drones have been used and tested in the battlefield. U.S. Air Forces in Afghanistan reportedly tested the Black Hornet drone, which is about the size of a hummingbird. In 2013, the Wasp drone, which weighs less than a pound and measures about 28 inches, has also been used by the military. And I want to point out again, as soon as I found the first one today, the time is 745 AM. This was between 7:40 and 7:45 AM. The uh, date is Saturday, December 7th, and I found this thing in my apartment. I've detected multiple, uh, multiple, um, how should I say, radiational frequencies, but every time I checked the areas, I could not seem to find any type of, you know, unusual thing. And now I'm starting to understand as to why. It's because they use these nanobots that are very small and they can hide in crevices in your apartment, in your house, and you won't even you won't even sorry about that. You won't even be you won't even know. You will look and you just won't see anything. And the thing is they're designed to be most likely give off the appearance of something different. So if you wasted your money on having a wire um tap technician to come through like a, a bug detector or whatever the guys who normally comes and look around for actual spy equipment they're not gonna find it because these people are actually using stuff that are, has no business being in these uh in these areas but they still have them here i'm not even kidding there's a lot of activity going on right now since i found that first one and i'm i am so I am so fucking, uh, 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 pardon my language, but I am so grateful that I actually figured out what it was that they were using now. So, um, yeah, they're using uh, nanotype bugs as far as if you can't find them, that's what they're using. Um, see, as you can see, you could just read, you could just pause and read this at your own discretion. But, um, yeah, that's basically what they're using. There's another article that had, that, that touches on this, and, um, they show different variations of it. They've used uh, mosquitoes. They've used wasps. They've and um, and they use in my case they use ladybugs. The uh, it was an orange uh, ladybug that I found in the uh, right next to the blinds. Again, just so happened to be having itself parked in an area to where it can see an entire scan of my of my uh, one of the sides of my units. 
nowhere near the plants, which most likely ladybugs naturally tend to be around, which are on plants. But it wasn't on no plant. So why would it be in the, think about it, like why would a, a, a bug like that be hidden around the uh, blinds? Yep, a photograph, a photography shows an insect's spy drone that can take photographs and DNA samples. So I'm willing to bet these things are probably mostly bent on stand, but they usually, like when you're active, they got them on standby to uh, not move around. But the entire time you're in there, they take their snapping photos of you or possibly even, I don't know if it's even power, powerful enough to even um, take video. Probably does, most likely. I'm willing to bet that it does. But um, it's so weird because, like, I shouldn't be seeing any insects in here at all. The windows are sealed. The windows are sealed. No joke, these windows don't open. So how on earth would a ladybug get inside my apartment? I understand, like, uh... I would understand if it was like on a leaf or something, but looking at the basis as far as what happened, I mean, I flush it down the toilet and then all of that activity actually spikes up as soon as I do that of where my gang stalkers are makes it too obvious. I wouldn't be surprised if we have a, a ton of these all throughout any type of suburban neighborhood, the cities, everywhere, and people just don't even, you know, realize it. I would not be surprised, meaning you may think that you're not being spied on, but you're actually being a lot more spied on than you thought. Okay, one of the current areas of research reportedly being undertaken in the scientific military field is development of the development of micro air vehicles, MAVs, tiny flying objects intended to go places that cannot be safely reached by humans or other types of equipment. One of the primary military applications envisions for MAVs is the gathering of intelligence through Petitious use of cameras, microphones, or other types of sensors among the more extreme applications. Pos I don't even know how to pronounce that. What's that? Posited or something? For such devices that they may uh, eventually be used as swarm weapons, which can be launched in mass against enemy forces. Some efforts in MAV research have involved trying to mimic birds or flying insects to achieve flight capabilities not attainable through the other means of aerial propulsion in 2007. A bug-like MAV model with a 3 centimeter wingspan has displayed at a robotics conference in 2008. The U.S. Air Force released a simulated video showing MAVs about the size of bumblebees in, in 2012. Engineers at Johns Hopkins University, we're studying the flight of butterflies, and I swear, I wish I freaking filmed the darn thing instead of flushing it down the toilet. I, 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 my apologies for that. I should have filmed it before I did. Maybe even dissect the thing, but um, I'm not. I don't really cru uh, do cruelty to animals or anything like that, or any type of insects. So, but in this case, that was a drone. In this case, that was definitely a drone. No, no doubt. Judging by um. Uh, both the location and everything like I, I honestly down in this in in just the, the overall structure of my apartment that would have to have been the drone because that thing first off we're nowhere near the season for a ladybug man it, it is definitely cold out there and um if i bet you if i google their natural uh behavioral patterns i guarantee you i'm going to see that they normally migrate somewhere else the same thing as butterflies do so they don't stay around like uh, cold climates. They actually uh, migrate to warmer climates. But at the same time, something like that has no way of getting in here. It has like no way of getting in here at all. The windows are sealed. And my vents 
they um I usually have the air conditioner on like constantly. So it can't just be a coincidence. I'm detecting different frequency areas around and then as soon as um as soon as I find that one particular bug all of this uh it caught a lot of it, caught, it spiked a lot of gang stalkers attention you can even hear it moving around um so yeah if you are a target individual just be mindful of this man because they uh if you don't find any spy equipment in your house or your equipment look for any type of bugs that may be in there that um are in very unusual areas because that's what they're using I think uh, I'm gonna close this because I'm at 15 minutes, about to go on 16. Um, again, this is MMM, MMM's TI strategy guide. Uh, may God bless America. May God bless us all. And unfortunately, um, hopefully, we all can get through this some kind of way. I'm over and out.